Adventure and an escape to the wild are not the only reasons to visit New Zealand. Along with the mesmerizing geothermal features and big lakes of this small island country, you will find yourself having a blast with its variety of tastes and flavors. Especially if you're from the opposite side of the world, you will enjoy some of the items on this list that can only be found in this country. Let us take a look at the top 10 foods to try when you're in New Zealand. Number 10. Kiwi Fruit Despite its sour flavor, kiwi fruit is a non-citrus fruit. Considered to be part of the berry family, it's called Chinese gooseberry. Kiwi fruit is a tiny fruit that features a light green and golden flesh with small black edible seeds. It has thin, woolly, brawny, sour but edible brown skin. The kiwi fruit is indigenous to China's eastern and central regions. The first written description of the kiwi fruit dates from the Song dynasty in the 12th century. Kiwi fruit farming extended from China to New Zealand in the early 20th century, with the first commercial plantings taking place there. Despite not being indigenous to New Zealand, it is the country's national fruit. It is significant to the country since it has become New Zealand's leading horticulture export earner that creates the demand for the fruit until today. Even if you can buy kiwi on the market today, trying it from the land of the kiwi will be a unique experience. Number 9. Manuka honey. Since ancient times, honey has been prized for its delectable taste and several health advantages. But manuka honey is distinct from other honeys because it goes through a specialized process. Manuka honey is a natural treatment for all types of wounds and known to possess different healing properties such as antibacterial, antimicrobial, antiviral and antioxidant qualities. All of this helped to boost our immune system and treat a variety of health issues. It's been praised as a go-to germ fighter in an era when conventional antibiotics aren't working. Manuka honey gets its name from Manuka, a bush native in New Zealand and Australia, which the bees pollinate. Manuka honey supporters also claim that it can help with everything from acne to sinus problems. This honey has been regarded as a natural miracle after extensive and thorough scientific research. If you're searching for an edible souvenir from your vacation to New Zealand, a bottle of Manuka honey is a must-have. Number 8. Kiwi Burger Although some taste buds may have been harmed, the Kiwi Burger's overall influence has been quite benign. Brian Old introduced it to a country that didn't realize it needed it. In 1976, he created the burger as a homage to the standard New Zealand hamburger of the time. Brian's concept was put to the test in his five Hamilton eateries, and it became a hit. So, what makes a kiwi burger different from others? Beetroot and a fried egg are sandwiched between two burger buns, along with juicy beef patties, lettuce, tomato, onions, cheese, mustard and tomato sauce. You'll either think it's strange or brilliant, but it's definitely one of the kiwi's favorites. The kiwi burger has been spotted all over the world, not content with becoming world famous in New Zealand. It was available for a limited time at the Gourmet Burger Kitchen in the United Kingdom. The Kiwi Burger has appeared on a multitude of restaurant menus over the years, with well-known burger restaurants like Burger Fuel, Ferg Burger and Burger Wisconsin all giving their variations on the classic. But it always reappears. After all, it's sound evidence of Kiwi's creativity at its finest, combining breakfast, lunch and dinner into one meal. Number 7. White Bait Fritters When visiting the west coast of the South Island, white bait fritters are a must try. If you happen to be passing through, make sure to try some. White bait fritters are the most common method of preparing white bait in New Zealand and are considered a delicacy here. White bait refers to young fish that are typically 1 to 2 inches long. It's more expensive than other types of fish caught off the coast of the country but it is a once-in-a-lifetime gourmet event that no foodie should miss. White bait fritter is a crispy omelette made with translucent young fish fried with egg and flour. The white bait fritter may look like a fishy omelette, but when cooked properly, it can be delicious and crispy enough to satisfy your craving. However, be aware that this traditional New Zealand dish is controversial, as overfishing may threaten the local fish resources in New Zealand's rivers. Number 6. Jaffas Kiwis have a special fondness for these red beauties. 
Jaffas are popular Australian and New Zealand candy made up of small, round chocolate balls coated with reddish-orange flavouring. It has a strong, heady blend of milk chocolate and a zesty orange flavour. These flavours are well balanced and difficult to distinguish even for the most discerning palates. Jaffas are all about texture, as proven by the firm, crunchy shell and gooey chocolate filling. Because the balls are little and delicious, it's easy to stuff several into your mouth at once. You can sip them till they're white, then color your tongue a bright scarlet. These sweet balls are so popular that an annual Jaffa race is held in New Zealand on the world's steepest street, Baldwin Street. The Jaffa orange inspired the sweet, which was first created in 1931 and is released under the Sweet Acres brand by James Stedman Sweets Henderson's Limited. The confectionery is now made in Australia by Allen's Lollies, a Nestle subsidiary, and in New Zealand by RJ's Confectionery in Levine. Never forget to buy one. It'll be a fantastic treat. Let the chocolate orange flavor melt in your lips as you bite into the crispy shell. Number five, lemon and peroa. Because we're talking about food, it might seem strange to include a drink, but it's a must try in any case, so why not? Ellen P is a proudly kiwi drink. Lemon and Peroa is a non-alcoholic soft drink manufactured from lemon and carbonated water. It was named after the town of Peroa, where it was first created in 1907. It's as popular as any soft drink in New Zealand, with a lemony, sweeter flavor than Sprite. If you're intrigued, try a sip of this fizzy drink for yourself on your visit to New Zealand. Number 4. Hokey Pokey Ice Cream if you're going to try New Zealand's ice cream, make it hokey pokey. It's also referred to as honeycomb toffee in New Zealand. The term hokey pokey is believed to have several origins. One of these is the phrase hocus pocus. The hokey pokey is a vanilla ice cream with caramelized sugar and a solid lump of honeycomb toffee. It's another Kiwi Kid favorite. Until roughly 1980, the original recipe was for solid toffee but the manufacturer switched to little honeycomb toffee balls as a marketing strategy. Okie pokey is consumed in the country in the amount of 5 million liters a year, indicating its popularity among Kiwis. Therefore, hokey pokey is unquestionably worth trying. Number 3. Hangi Hangi is a traditional Maori dish cooked in an earth oven for several hours. Long before European sailors appeared on the shores of New Zealand, Hundreds of thousands of Polynesians, from which the Maori tribes originated, lived there. Many major changes have occurred in the Maori's lives over the centuries of coexistence with Europeans, but they've managed to avoid being absorbed by another culture. Their culture, way of living, arts and cooking techniques have all remained to this day. One great example is the unusual way of cooking hangi, which is still a practice even when a stove or an oven is available. The word hangi has lots of meaning, but the most common one is to create. Hangi takes three to four hours to prepare, and as a rule, is cooked with the anticipation of serving a large group of people. The thorough cooking method of hangi creates tender, fall apart meat and delicious vegetables, all infused with a charred, earthy aroma. Experiencing a traditional Maori hangi is a great way to learn about Maori culture while also savoring a delicious meal. Number two, crayfish. It's not a surprise that New Zealand offers some of the best seafood on the planet, thanks to its 14,000 kilometers of coastline. Crayfish is another traditional New Zealand dish. Known as kura to the Maori, crayfish, freshwater crustaceans resemble lobsters. It's a popular seafood in New Zealand, given the fact that many fishermen and divers take pride in catching it. They're usually cooked in the same way as lobster, and if you eat them in coastal towns, you can always count on its freshness. Crayfish has a meaty, juicy texture and a delicate, slightly sweet flavor. It's best served with a mild, subtle sauce that doesn't overpower the crayfish's delicate flavor. It may not be cheap, especially in high-end restaurants, but you can always cook for yourself while on vacation. Crayfish can be bought from supermarkets or fishmongers. Try it to understand why Kiwis are crazy about crayfish. Number one. Pavlova. Pavlova is an Australasian favorite meringue based dessert. Fruits like strawberries and kiwi fruit are commonly used to decorate the dish. 
Pavlova was named after Anna Pavlova, a Russian ballerina who toured the Australian Asian region in 1926. The dessert is claimed to have been created in honor of the ballerina. Pavlova is a vital component of Kiwi cuisine and a typical New Zealand food you'll find all around the country, especially during special occasions and holidays. And when you're on vacation, it's always a special occasion. So you have to get a taste of the Kiwi's much-loved dessert. This list should convince you that New Zealand is not only a haven for adventure, but it also is a destination that you should check out for its food. The best way to incorporate all the good things about New Zealand in your vacation is to trek every trail, swim in every lake, and taste every flavor that your time in this country will permit.